gon' chew me, cause the showtime. Go ahead and call the gang up for the one time. Rap food rhymes, got them on the line. And my life's still great, I'm doing just fine. Hands up. What's up, y'all, and welcome to the Blurred Mob, your hub for all things black and nerdy. I'm your host, Foop, joined by my co-host, Ron. We're here today to bring you guys our reactions to the Lord of the Rings, the War of Rohirrim. Ron? <laughs> y'all, we just fought super hard to get that pronunciation right. <laughs> but, <laughs> but if y'all, because I know that y'all are only watching this on YouTube, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn those bell notifications for future uploads, and leave a comment. Let us know how you like these reaction videos, and if you want to see more, let us know what to react to. All right, all right. But, like, no, nah, Ryan's right. Like, we sat here for a few minutes trying to figure out how to pronounce it because I was like, I don't want to say this wrong. But I had it right on the first try, Rohirrim. I thought it was Rohirrim with I some just, Viking stuff. I just don't know where you got that from. It just felt good. It felt like in my soul, like Rohirrim. Yeah. I'm well, I'm glad it's not pronounced like that. I'm glad they did not give you the satisfaction of actually pronouncing that like like that. You don't even like Lord of the Rings for real. I I'm gonna watch the movie. I'm gonna watch the like, animated one. I watch Rings of Power. Look. I was supposed to watch season two for us, and I'm just like, do I really? I got so much stuff to do. I got classwork. Do I want to watch Rings of Power? But I'm gonna watch it. My mom, my mom actually said she liked it, and she was an old school Lord of the Rings fan. Okay, okay. I'm. I was interested in this because I love animated content, and I feel like I was trying to use the Rings of Power to get me into Lord of the Rings. It did not go well. So maybe mm -hmm. this animated movie. Will be like, okay, hey, I get it. We vibing, we rocking, and then I'll go back. Let's see. Let's see. Or we gotta wait for a new Lord of the Rings reboot for the original movies. That's crazy. It's old enough we rebooting Harry Potter. All right, here we go. I was about to say this live action. Where the cartoon? I, I was just gonna say. I feel like this part right here is so unnecessary. Maybe they're just getting that to you know suck you back in to the. the oh. All Middle Earth knows the tale of the War of the Ring, but two hundred years before that. Hmm. There was an older tale. This really gives like um Castlevania and Benlin Saga like animation vibes. Maybe more Castlevania. I can see, especially with the Viking things. Seek your hand in marriage. Our fathers speak as if I were not even in the room. I do not want mm. to marry you. You do not seek an alliance. You seek a throne. Oh, now nice. they fighting. Oh, they throwing blows. I regret this. Old man. Oh. Ooh. He's dead. Not you, you hit him so hard. He died. He didn't. He start to fight. Why he oh, got to pay off his life? Hey, he spun that man around from sixty. Fire! There's so many of them. Hmm. I pledge to fight for my king. You know nothing of war. I'm the fastest rider you have. People need help here. Okay, so she the main character. Yeah. My pride. Her outfit looks My like Tomb Raider to me. It's giving Laura Croft. Could rule the world. From the, in a Viking era. Yeah. You think I am afraid of you? Okay. So they were friends at first. They kingdoms come up, come to blows. You yeah. should be. Interesting. I yeah. And this is right before the rings were made, so they're gonna melt it down and create the ring of power. Yeah, that's what it that's what it's given to me. Interesting. I huh. I think I like the fact that it's I I would say I don't think we see a lot of like 
female protagonist going against like male antagonists, like at at that at that level. Considering we just talked about Arcane and yes, kind of the girls on girls, I could see what you're saying with that. Of like, I guess with like with the medieval stuff, it's always like it's always some underdog, like some guy who's like a lowly knight or something. And it was like, yeah, I'll take on, I'll take on the guy with the king, and then they turn out, oh, we we should make you king instead. You're so noble. Mm-hmm. But it's more, it's more so her. Like, let me let me show y'all what I can do. I'll take, I'll take this dude down myself. And the way they're pegging the story to be, it seems like they both were like. You know, we're just pawns in our father's games, the real kings, and they're trying to build a throne together. I could see that. Like, now they're more at an even playing field, so it's like just a girl against a guy, her old friends back from back in the day are rivals. I like mm-hmm. I'm not mad at that. Or they weren't rivals. Like, they were probably cool. And then, Like, just regular friends. And then he's just doing... He, right. And then he's just doing his duty to his dad by saying, yeah, we finna go up here. You gonna marry his daughter. I know y'all childhood friends. Shouldn't be too much, no issues. He was like, okay, cool. You know, we cool. I would love to marry so-and-so. And then she was like, yeah, I don't really want to marry you. Then, so you get rejected on top of her daddy whooping your daddy ass. So you I, want your girl and your daddy. Right. And now he's raging war. Like, you didn't, you didn't off my father. And she's like, hey, let me go fight. And her dad, you know, um, because of, um, dang it, misogyny, he don't want her to go fight. Patriarchy. Patriarchy. <laughs> patriarchy. patriarchy. Yeah. He don't want her to go fight. And she's like, I'm going to go fight on my own. I'm the, I'm the best. I'm the best. She think it's good with Mulan. It's, I can see that. I can see that. It's giving it's- Mulan. And it seems like it's a pretty, I don't want to say a small story, like it's pre- its condensed. We got these two kingdoms, the children that stayed for it didn't seem like it really explored into different parts of Middle Earth or any other kingdoms or civilizations mm-hmm. were involved. So it's a really confined story. I'm not mad at that. So they can really keep it concise, confined yeah. story. The only thing I am concerned about, of course, we got a female protagonist. I'm not mad at it. Won't be mad at it. However, if, if the writing is ass on this, the direction on this, the way that this goes, I would be highly disappointed. Because, <sighs> because they tried, this is the same thing with Rings of Power, when they tried to make, what is it, Gladriel? The, Gladriel. Yeah, you know, the female protagonist, and it, it did not sell well. Dialogue-wise, <laughs> story, her motivations, it did not sell. Now, what we just talked about, we can see from this trailer that this character has Hera, she has motivation. She has some things backing her, but I would just hate that it's only the trailer. If we get into this movie, and it, it just does not give. Yeah, they can't girl boss it again. Like, if y'all want to do a girl boss, do it right. Show us, show her training, show her power. Don't let, ju- don't just give her everything because she's a woman. We don't want that. We want good character development. Yeah. So I'm not mad at that. And Hera, in Greek mythology, which god was Hera again? Goddess was Hera again, and see if that plays any plays into her character was, at all. She was Zeus's wife, she, not beauty, but um, that was Aphrodite who was beauty, yeah. I believe. Because there was a god of war, Hephaestus, or was he the one that made like the, women, the, marriage, family, and childbirth? So I wonder if, like, because they chose that name, it's her going against what people intended for her to do. I could see them using that, that name, could be. name here for a like reason. She's, she's going against, like, she don't want to be married to nobody. She ain't trying to, you know, sit down and do her medieval womanly duty of getting married and having babies and stuff. Getting your stomach ripped out in Game of Thrones in lore. I feel like she is going to hone in on the family part, but because she wants to defend her family. Like, she just don't want this guy to come in and take her daddy off the throne. Exactly. However, you're not gonna push them to the sidelines and be like, you know, you sit down and you you knit your little quilts and you go have babies. Like you're not gonna do that to me neither. That does seem like it could be two plots. Her, yeah, I could see that. Her with her homeboy going to war against him, and then also being like, "Father, put me in the field. Don't do me like that." Yeah, it's that was the story that just did that though. Who did that? Don't put me in work and go and get into the field. Uh, like a woman going against her father and wanting to be in the field. Am I not getting it mixed up? It wasn't that a story that was done recently or historically? Because every time you say that, I just keep thinking Mulan. 
Mulan definitely falls into the ballpark, but I feel like there's another one. Oh my god, someone leave a comment and remind me. I feel like there's another series I... or movie that did that. Yeah, there there is a lot. The only one I can think of right now is Mulan. But I feel like that trope is used a lot, though. Mm-hmm. It is used a lot. I, my other question, I wonder if this is them starting, like, a series of animated films that tie into the lore of the Lord of the Rings, kind of like how The Witcher is doing uh -huh. with their animated films. I wonder if this would be a, a different medium for them to tell stories of in, inside of the Lord of the Rings franchise. I could see that. And for them getting a, 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 an anime studio to like back them lower, like as a production company and they're calling it an anime, it seems like they probably see the room for growth in that realm. Mm -hmm. We might see a series come out at some point for all we know. I wouldn't be, I honestly wouldn't be mad at it. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be mad at it. As long as anime. if this, if this movie right here gets enough positive feedback, like if, this goes up or if you know if the lord of the rings fandom was like okay you guys tried something different we like this we want to see more but i could definitely see them expanding into more movies toying around with an animated series i honestly feel like at this point we might uh, the lord of the rings fandom might take anything other than rings of power honestly and that's my thing it's kind of interesting like who the fandom even is because i feel like Lord of the Rings fans, like old school fans, are all like in their forties, really, right now. Forties and up, you might see a few thirty year olds. So when you see Rings of Power, that was attracting a new audience. That was attracting an audience of people who are like, I like Game of Thrones and I like mm -hmm. The Witcher, and I just need something to fill in that live action action fantasy hole in my heart. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what the fandom wants because Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power, how, how much viewership did it get? How did it perform? I it did good enough for them to do season two. I wonder if Prime just, like, yeah, it did good enough, but, like, in terms of, like, critic reviews and everything else, how was it actually sitting? Because I think our review lined up with a lot of others as well, because yeah. we were, like, in the five or sixes, like, 60% range. Even, but even if the feedback wasn't positive, if they had enough viewership, they were going to push season two. Prime was going to do another season, yeah. That's what I'm saying, like, if but if we had not completely watched it, like, if this... Bom I would say if season two bomb at this point, if season two bombs, they might not do a season three. They they would have been like, all right, listen, we didn't fell off too far off the wagon. We can't fund no more money into this because y'all not we not getting no profit back. And they'll probably dip into anime like they're doing with this movie because like this is probably a test run. Hence why, but it's a my movie. but the other thing is that this is Warner Brothers, even though they you know license Lord of the Rings. For Amazon Prime to make Rings of Power, this is Warner Brothers. So we are, I. Warner Brothers was also behind the video game, I believe, Middle Earth: Shadows of Mordor. Mm -hmm. And that and that video game was honestly well received with amazing so mechanics. Be, if we if we just want to go on the business side of it, we know that Warner Brothers Discovery has been having some issues financially, which is why they mm -hmm. cut some of these TV shows. They've been outsourcing some of their IPs and some of their movies to be on other streaming services. Like, at some point, some of the DC, some select DC movies were on Netflix um, and things like that. So it could be possible that they were like, hey, we outsource Rings of Power. We, you know, even though we made it to season two, we didn't see a lot of positive feedback on it. How about we just keep Lord of the Rings in-house? What works well the thing that's been working well for us is making animated content. Boom. Lord yeah. Of the Rings anime movie. I could see that. Because, cause, and it seems like Warner Brothers is really just investing into them because it's like, oh, when it comes to that generation of content, we, we know how Hollywood and these companies work. Star Wars, Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, they're all kind of in that old school generation of like mm -hmm. old school movie franchises. I... I would say this. Uh, I would say at the end of the day, this is a good move for them to make animated content because they could bring in some new fans into Lord of the Rings. That might make them go backwards and watch the old movies, or just have them looking forward to what will come next out of the Lord of the Rings franchise. Because mm -hmm. I'm gonna watch it, and if it grabs me enough, like I said, I'll go back and watch the other ones, and I'll be looking forward to whatever their next project is. I'll be like, yeah, I'm definitely gonna watch that because. The War of 
row or hear them was real good. I like the protagonist. I like the antagonist. I like how they're at the end, how they're tying it into the initial storyline of the Lord of the Rings. Like, and it's a whole prequel movie, two hundred years. So if it's two hundred years ahead, and I it have seems space like to gonna, feel. Exactly, it might end when baby girl is like when Hera's like what in her thirties, it probably seemed like it's mm-hmm. they showed a flashback when they were kids. They got about hundred fifty plus years of content if they want to stick in that time frame. They can really give this the Star Wars treatment and make different series and movies that have different protagonists and focus on different parts. Like they're all happening in the same storyline. We all lead up to the same place. We're just in a different piece of it. Exactly, because Ring of Power leads into the creation of the Rings, if I'm correct, right? Mm-hmm. Which is right before the Lord of the Rings actual mainline films. Mm-hmm. I could see them tying this all together like Star Wars. That's honestly the perfect com- comparison. But yeah, I I would say this this trailer has me interested. I like the art style. I'm interested to see what they do with the female protagonist. I'm interested in the male protagonist. I would. I want him to be a good one. I don't want y'all to dumb it down because we have a female protagonist. Like, let him give her the work. Exactly. Put some good writing into this. Don't go for the easy way out. Make this complicated. Do something with this. Yeah. If this if this is meant to bring in a new generation of Lord of the Rings fans and pay um, homage to uh, the original series and to like bring bring us up into the fold with everything else. I say it's a good move. Do your big one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I ain't mad at this WB. I ain't mad. You got anything else? No. It looks all right. It looks all right. And it's coming out when again? December 13th, 2024. Right before Christmas. We ain't going to have much to do anyway. I ain't mad at that. If this turns out to be pretty good, we'll definitely do a mob review on this. I or even even if it turns out pretty bad, I will still do a mob review. We'll let you guys know if you are, if you're a li- if you're a little bit hesitant to try it out first. We'll we'll watch it for you. We'll take the bullet for you. And we'll let take you know the bullet. How it what but, how them YouTube videos be going? We watched it, so you don't have to. We watched Lord of the Rings: The War of Rohirrim, so you wouldn't have to. Exactly. So if you see that. You know. If you know, you know. You know if it's good or not. <laughs> but all right, y'all. So that's we're gonna go ahead and shut this down. Thank you, Ron, for joining me for another reaction video. Um, make sure you follow us on our social media platforms. We're on Instagram at the Blurred Mob Pod, we're on Twitter at the Blurred Mob, and you can find us on Facebook and TikTok at the Blurred Mob Podcast. Make sure you guys support the mob using the links in the bio. Use our affiliate link for Entertainment Earth. Get you got some Funko Pops, some statues. A uh, percent of your purchase comes to the Blurred Mob. Or you can send us a sh- straight donation using our Kofi link. All of the donations that we get goes towards equipment, software, and everything that we use to bring you guys these lovely episodes. And let us know how you felt about the Lord of the Rings, the War of Rohirrim trailer. Let us know if you have any other theories. Uh, um, and let us know how you felt about our reaction and discussion. And with all that being said, this is the mob checking out. Peace. I forgot the peace. Put the peace sign up. Ain't say no peace. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Cause I was like, oh, I guess you just gonna keep it quiet. I said, damn, I'm supposed to talk. And that's my thing. Like, are they fighting him in hell, or are they getting like a new power? They're trying to weaken him. Or are they hell? looking? That's that's what I was gonna say. Is it? Are, is going through hell? Is there, does he have some kind of like fail safe or something down there that if we get.